Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. Uh, in this episode, we're going to follow up a prior episode. I showed you how to disassemble the Hubson uh, controller for the uh, X4 series. And what I'm going to show you in this uh, episode is how to upgrade to do a range mod on this controller. So what I did, as I mentioned in the prior episode, is I went and I ordered these um, high gain uh, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi antennas and I got them in. And one of the things, uh, and the reason I ordered it, is these come with the small micro caps at the end. And I'll see if I can't get this in here. Because here is the existing, if I can pick it up here, um, antenna. And you notice you got the same, I try to get it in the frame here. And I'll try to zoom in and get my fat fingers out of the way. The same micro cap. So this, is, this should be basically a plug and play. Now this is the existing antenna that's tucked up in, in the top of the Hubson. And you might remember that from the prior episode. So what this is, is I've taken off um, the shrink wrap. This is just a piece of metal sheathing. And what happens is the uh, radiating dipole extends through uh, this metal sheathing. And this acts like a ground plane for it. So it's, it's a dipole antenna. So you have the radiating element and the ground plane element here. So this is about a quarter wave at um, 2.4 gig uh, gigahertz. Whereas this one will probably be around a full wave. And so uh, we should get some pretty good uh, propagation and distance gain off of this. Now what I did to assemble this is, or what I'm doing to assemble this, is I've drilled in the top piece, so here's the top uh, piece of the controller, uh, a quarter inch hole, about 6.5 millimeter hole. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip this fitting through here and then put a retaining bolt and then what will happen is the uh, antenna will screw on top of here and it'll give me the extended range for running the Hubson. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll just clip this onto the board. Remember that the, uh, and it's kind of a, a bear to get at, is the actual uh, clip for the cap is down here. Let me see if I get to make sure I get it in frame. Uh, so it's a little bit to get to it. You might have to snake it through the other side and then use a small screwdriver. What I had uh, done, because uh, I've experimented with a couple different, is use this to kind of pressure down, get it lined up and, and, and uh, pressured in. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of the assembly. This is pretty much straightforward. So I'm going to do the rest of the assembly and then we're going to come back to the bench and we'll take a look at it kind of all put back together and you can kind of see what it looks like. Uh, but pretty much this is a pretty simple mod. Uh, the other thing I forgot to mention, uh, I, I mentioned in the prior video that there's like a stanchion or a pin here. I had to remove that uh, and take that down flush here so I could mount uh, this connector because the connector would hit the pin so uh, there shouldn't be any reinforcing issue or anything there because there's really nothing there so anyways that shouldn't be a big issue but you will have to take that out when you drill the hole so I'm gonna go ahead and assemble this because this takes a little bit of gyration to get it on this cap and then we'll come back and take a look at it okay here we are we have the completed mod so the antennas on here as uh, mentioned so really like the look and feel of this and um, you know, again, this will probably pick up pick us up. I think about 6 dB or so. So one of the things I'm doing is uh, probably over there. I'll run some uh, pictures of uh, some close-ups I did as I was assembling it. It went together very easy. So I just used some um, uh, hemostats to maneuver it in place, and then a flathead screwdriver to kind of press the cap down. Went on like a charm. You can kind of see how I routed the wires around in there, or the cable around, really not wires, and uh, mounted up. Now the nice part I like about this is that, um, you know, this, this piece, this antenna will screw off, and then I can store it, whoops, if I don't drop it. So I can transport it to wherever I'm going, you know, real compact, and then uh, just assemble the antenna uh, when I get there. Um, you know, it's got a good radiating angle. It uh, doesn't look too, you know, bad. Actually, it looks pretty good. And so I'm really interested to see what kind of range I do get out of this. This should be significantly better than, <laughs> than this. So we have this versus this. So I, I'm expecting some um, 
a lot better range out of this. So we'll do some range tests on it here in a while. Uh, a little bit cold here in Michigan. When we get a good day, we'll take it out and uh, do some range tests and see how it does. Uh, because it does have the receiving meter in here, I think we'll be able to do some kind of estimates um, as it gets out there. And so we'll see how it does. So if you're interested in adding a range extension capabilities to your Hubson uh, X4 controller, I'll have a link to these antennas below. Again, it's very simple. Just take your time a little bit. Uh, have a little bit of patience. It's plug and play. The clip, at least on mine, just popped off. I popped these on. Again, just poked a quarter 20 hole through the top here. Uh, took a pair of wire cutters, kind of cut uh, cut out that uh, pin that I mentioned. And as you can see, it doesn't make any difference that it's gone. Um, and it's just an alignment pin, and, and here it goes. It's it's done. So I've now got a 6 decibel antenna in place of this, whatever this quarter wave ended up working out to be. So anyways, hey, if you found this interesting, you want to see more stuff like this, give it a thumbs up. It helps me make more of these. Also, subscribe button coming up over there. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. If you got any questions, hit me up in the comments below. And hey, we'll see you out in the field flying. Cheers.